Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we began the series by planning out the rough idea for the new island facility which is obviously in front of us now. Just to clarify, this is a high risk facility, each cell block, and there's four of the cell blocks, one, two, three and four, has a total capacity of two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, one. So it has 21 rather than the 20 that I originally mentioned, so 84 capacity in total. Obviously we have a shower on either side of it there, which could actually be a different size. I haven't yet determined whether these are going to be showers as well, but we'll see. Probably all of these are going to be showers. We have obviously a kitchen and canteen and a nice perimeter wall, double skin perimeter wall around the outside. Uh, there's some buildings that we haven't yet determined exactly what they're going to be, but it doesn't particularly matter. Even the walls internally are not even correct. That's just a rough idea of what we can accomplish. And then obviously we've got like security stuff and entrance ways and, and things like that. Either way, this is the rough idea for the facility. Now I know there's been some questions regarding the lack of protective custody. We're not going to have one. I know similarly there's going to be, well there has been questions regarding the, um, even at the start of the design phase about having the supermax areas. Now I haven't actually planned off any specific supermax area and that's because if we have any supermax it will still be in probably one of these cell blocks but also as a longer term goal I would like to expand to a different island and have that island as supermax, legendary and death row. Also, I would like to expand again to another island to have low and medium risk with lots more amenities and then turn on all of the transfer stuff and then see if that works and transfer between the islands. I think that is a really nice, interesting long-term goal. Whether or not we reach that is you know, up for debate. We'll have to see how it goes. Let's just focus on this from the beginning. Now, speaking of focusing on this, every time I look at it, I just have this sort of really weird feeling that there's something wrong with it. There's something missing or there's something off kilter or, or whatever. I mean, that that could be the overwhelming self-loathing and doubt creeping into the design, but I don't know. I don't know. There's something seems to be a bit off, but we will no matter crack on with the design. Um, first things first, though, I guess, before we start to build anything, and I want to build the administration center first, if we go to walls and doors, what are we going to use? Well, there's many different walls and doors. The basic option is brick wall. I'm ruling that out. Boring. We've seen it before, done it loads of times, we've got loads of other options, we're going to try something else. We could go with wall overgrown, doesn't seem to work. Derelict, slum, rusty, there's loads of options here. Things like the art deco and the cushioned wall, we're not using those. We're going to rule those out again. But, that's been annoying me. But, let's do a bit of a test. Let's try rusty. Plus four on there. Slum, derelict, um, decayed, even just concrete, and we'll see how we get on with that. Oh, there's also this Utani one as well. So a little bit of money spent, but it is a test uh, test rig. Let's see what that looks like, because that is going to determine the type of walls that we use throughout this entire prison. Now, the problem is that using a lot of them, ones that I've placed, they give you a negative reduction in the prisoner cells. So, rusty, slum, derelict, overgrown. They're all negative. Decreases a prison cell's grade. The advantage that we have is that all of these are exposed to the elements. So we can put windows in. Should be fine. I'm looking in at them now. I'm going to rule this one out straight away. Don't like that wall decayed. It might look better on an end, but I don't like that look of that. That's just standing concrete. That seems to work. This one looks a bit too sci-fi, which we expect it to be. So it's between these three. I might even rule that one out. That's the derelict wall. Mm, too much sandstone-y look, although it's not too bad. Looking at these two, though, honestly, I think that rusty one looks fairly cool. Is it, It's if, like, we've built it, not not hastily, but out of, you know, the, the parts available, like derelict, like ship parts and stuff that have been, like, brought here and obviously with the constant battering of the salt air and the sea and that sort of thing it's just rusted everything um go on we're using that we're going to use the rusty wall for everything even even these buildings here the internal walls will probably use something a bit different but the external yeah anything that's open to the elements will probably use that rusty one okay let's go over to foundations more and then the wall rusty and we need to place this big building in here so what sort of 
size could it be? Also, this bit here, by the way, I'm probably going to alter because if we go to the walls here, we could probably go and extend this to get a lot more space like that and then have that come along there. This can go along there and then we can move this entrance way down to this side and gain more space here. So we're probably going to alter that. Haven't yet decided exactly how we're going to alter it, but we shall see. Um, that has to be the entrance where... Do I want to alter this now? There's no reason why I can't. That can come along to there. That is staff only. That could be for your prisoners. Right, then we've got more room up here for whatever we need to place in there. So staff only that way. I actually like the idea here. It's, it's a double, double door both sides. And then you've got one, two, three, and there, one, two, three. Then you've still got this. Uh, we've got buildings here. I don't know. Do we need to do it like that? Are we overcomplicating it, as always? Do we need that amount of visitation? No, we don't. Could it be a separate building? Yes, it can be. I'm tempted to do that. Have the walkway coming along like that. So we'll have a separate bit here. This again is staff only, all this bit. And at least we've got the same size of that. Yeah, we gain a bit more space and we can have another building in there. No problem. Right, so what do we need to build at, at a base, very, very base level? Well, we need to build this for our power block. And we need to build up here for the offices. But if we're going to build the offices, we might as well put the canteen in. And if we're putting that in, we might as well put half of this in. So, how am I going to do that <laughs> without spending all the money that we have? I think we don't really have an option. Foundations. Rusty wall. Let's just get the offices done. I don't want to overcomplicate over matters. So, walls and doors. Doors. Staff door. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We are now constructing. Also, rusty. There we go. Power block area. Once again. Walls and doors, doors, staff door, staff door will go in there. And let's see what that looks like. If it's terrible, we will just reskin the outer walls. The foundations will stay where they are. Two grants on the go, basic detention centre and administration centre. We need to build two offices and then hire a warden. Warden is very easy. That is a psychiatrist. That's not right. There's a warden there. Psychiatrist, not a waste to place because once we build the offices, we will be going for one of the other grants in the grading anyway. It's sorry, in the bureaucracy anywhere. Want to unlock finance through bureaucracy? Let's do that. Psychiatrist is definitely wrong. Don't want a psychiatrist. That's criminally insane. Oh well. So, this is now in. You can't see it, because it's... <laughs> it's really, really dark. You can't see it. I said I was going to do different walls externally. But maybe just put everything rusty. Just to give that really grubby feeling. Because why not? So that's all of the stuff internally there. Placed. I'll make a model office and then clone it and go along. So each office will have an office chair. An office desk. A filing cabinet. A court stand. And I don't particularly want a moose head or a fan or a chest of drawers. I think that is fine. In terms of flooring, I'm probably... <laughs> I do like the the sound effects for the boat and things like that. That's quite nice. You can hear the seagulls and that sort of stuff. That's cool. In terms of the flooring, as per usual, we're not going to be putting any flooring in. Not going to do that. That's just cracking on with all that. You see the boat coming along. I like all the searchlights on it as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. It'd be better if it was actually in the daytime and you could actually see anything. We've turned Fogawa off, but... I don't know if we're going to alter that. Let's go ahead. Utilities. Power station. 
One goes in there. Power pump goes in there. Capacitors along like so. That electrical cable will already be... I'll connect that up there. And then we'll run all these in. Technically don't need to run the cables in like so later on because this will all be one building but at the moment because it isn't we need to do that which we've done over to quick build and clone uh oh cloning them will clone the light okay i will just put them in one at a time then it's not a big problem do i need to build them all i'm just going to build them all quite frankly and that should be the warden's office up there, so I might I might change these. Down here. Office desk. One, two, three. That sounds like the power's coming on. Four. That rotates around to there. We'll need filing cabinets, which again, will go in the same space. All this will come in handy later on. And a court stand, which will be different from the one at the top. And there we go. Over the staff, we are still researching the Unlock Finance Bureaucracy. There is our lighting, which is good. We're going to max its speed out and get this up and running and lit. I'm going to go to rooms in office. Once it's built, once all of these are built, I'm going to remove this office here. I'm going to remove that one. And then there's the light coming on. I was going to say it looks a lot better in the day. It doesn't look a lot better. It looks horrible and rusty and terrible. But that's what we were aiming for. For good or ill. So I'm going to get rid of his office. Place it up the top there. He'll then claim that office. Designate the rest of them as offices. And then we will be able to go to staff. And hire an accountant. In but a moment. Three. Two. One. Now. One accountant. Which is one grant done going to go to a long-term investment go to bureaucracy we're going to research extra grant health maintenance security psychology go a couple of grand spent but well spent so that's that in let's go ahead then and go walls and doors fence with grass do you want fence with grass we also have cliff edge as well, which I know a couple of people did want me to use. Build a cliff wall to create elevated sections and impassable areas around your prison or island. I didn't want to use it on this one because there's already enough to deal with. Don't want, didn't want to basically confuse myself. Probably not you. <laughs> you probably know exactly how it works. But I didn't want to start using these cliff edges around here. That'll be different for the expansion islands where we'll challenge ourselves perhaps a little bit more once we're a bit more settled in. For the fences then... I'm actually happy with it being fence with dirt underneath. But when we do that, it's going to. Oh, there's also sand around here because we've got fence with grass and fence with dirt. I'm going to use the fence standard with dirt underneath because I think we do need it. Uh, I'll actually go to there with that one. And this is putting a. Obviously. Wall section around here. And up to here, this will be all internal. So I'll place the internal stuff now. Like that. So then when we do build, it means we're not going to have to expand. And remove some stuff. There we go. So there's our deliveries and garbage. We haven't actually got an export. I don't know where exports could go. Exports. Remove that. Garbage we're going to remove. Delivery's going to keep. Exports. We'll have a tiny bit of exports there. And garbage. We'll go in there. Actually, probably the way around. There's the garbage. And then deliveries. Like that. You see, that was flashing there to say there was something wrong that's when you remove deliveries because there's nowhere for you to get to so you can see we've removed the from the fence here we've removed the sand underneath it but what we'll probably end up doing is 
changing all of this to dirt anyway, so, because I don't want any of this, I don't want any green space like this, I want it to be dirt and that sort of stuff. Um, up here, actually, we need to have a rusty wall to there, and that should be this internally okay. We'll figure that out by going to yard, designating all of that as yard, which is a massive yard, but I don't mind that. Then removing that. There we go. Currently not behind at least one door. We'll find out shortly whether it will be one finishing the rest of it off, like over here. There will be a section missing somewhere, but we'll have to see where that is. Oh, garbage there. Remove that. Oh, I actually removed accidentally some deliveries as well. Deliveries to there. And still not behind. So, there's obviously a section... That is missing. It seems like it should be correct. Anyway. Short term investment. We can pick that up now. That's fine. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, without any delay. Wall rusty. Let's get a cell block done. Might as well. No reason not to. We need to build hauling cell, shower yard, all that sort of stuff. This basic detention centre we will probably... Get done by placing them all temporarily and then shifting them about. We'll we'll do it. We'll do the grants. Technically, we've done them, but in actual fact, you know, we need to move things around. But we'll, again, we'll see. We'll see. We have these four buildings here, which I think it would be a bit of a waste not to make them the shower, because they're all about the right size, apart from this one. But we can do that. And then across, like so. This one, we can also go across and do that. Which means that actually, are these now all the right size? 15 by 12. They're all 15 by 12. They're going to be the showers. Yeah, they're 15 by 12. That's really good. <laughs> and then here, if I planned it better, we could terraform a little bit, move this out, and then have another building here. Let's pause for a moment and try that. Yard's just uh, had a ticky box to say that it is behind a, wa uh, a wall now, so that's good. Let's work out what could be here then. If I was to extend this to there, could I do that? No, I couldn't. Not without dramatically changing the design. Could do something that size... It would mean, though, that the wall would have to go along there and along there. Which means a bit of terraforming here and a bit of terraforming there. I am... I am fine with that. I am fine with that. Okay. Flooring, landscaping, sand... Like so. I'm going to put little extra bits in just to give it a bit more detail. I think that's better. And back to the fencing. Fence. Fence. Demolish. Fence. There we go. So, there's a couple of noises there. That's psychology unlocked, health unlocked, maintenance unlocked. I want bank loan. I want prison labour. Deployment, intelligence, patrols, prison policy. We're going to get them all eventually and we have, the, we have the money to start doing them now. One foreman, one chief. There we go. Let's look at this. So... The lights are in the complete wrong place. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll spend time dismantling the lights. Like so. Get rid of those. And we'll relight it properly. So walls and doors. Rusty wall. We'll do the top and bottom. We technically can rotate it and clone it, but this is fine. So, 
cells. Cells within one step within cells. That's Blade Runner. Hang on. Uh, let's go back to <laughs> doors. And is there like a a rusty door type thing? There isn't. No, no. So we're just going to go with a standard jail door. Now, this is obviously minus one already. This is already minus one. And I don't want I don't want this to be a slum. That wasn't the intention. It just has to physically look a bit run down, but not actually be run down. Now that's not to say that I'm not gonna <laughs> that I'm gonna put a fancy bed in this thing. That's not happening. An old bed. Do we wanna put an old bed in? It doesn't Alright, so the standard bed is just it works as intended. The old bed decreases the cell's grade. Do I want to decrease the cell's grade? Not particularly no. It's already quite low. Um, but it does look cool. It does seem to fit the design. Not on a foam mattress. The old bed does seem to fit there. But I think we're gonna stick with the standard beds. I'm gonna stick with the standard bed. Like that. Okay. With the toilet against that internal wall. I'm trying to th I'm trying to think from Alcatraz how they did it. I don't want to be copying Alcatraz, by the way, that's not my intention. But the bed was there, I think. So I think. No, because the whole thing was cell any like cell door rather than the singular. So it doesn't really matter which way we do it. I'll place it there. So the head end you can see straight through and look but look at people. Toilet will go there. And then the radiator if we have one there's space there. And a light will go there, just so we can manage it if need be. That's fine. And then there's the lighting, I think. No. There. There. That, that one's wrong. Dismantle. And then there. Okay. We'll need power over there. Let's run that now. Power will, for now, come up and out like that. It'll run around, like all the way around here. But for now, it's just going to run in. And then just across like that. That'll power the rest up. So that cell is in. That is legit. That's fine. We know we can clone that and move it along. No water, but we'll get that in now. Again, this will go up and across. And the pipe work... I'm tempted just to run small pipes up like that, but I haven't yet decided. Hmm. Okay. There's also the possibility of putting the water boiler in here, and that'll warm the rest of the place up, but I don't like that. <laughs> don't like that idea. Do I want to run a large pipe in here, or do I just want to run the pipes like that? That's a lot of pipe work doing it like that but uh, it'll work something like that anyway that's the rough idea and obviously we haven't put the flooring in but that's in so we need a kitchen canteen shower and holding cell well we'll do the shower because we're over this this neck of the woods anyway let's go ahead place that there wall rusty doors large jail door that seems to be about the middle one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is the middle. Good. Each of these will obviously have a decent amount of shower space in there. I'm tempted, very tempted, to make a little section at the bottom somewhere where we have the water boiler and do it like that. Where we had like a water boiler in the back or something. But then having the water boiler on site. 
that the high risk prisoners can access and smash up because that's almost certainly what will happen doesn't really ring true to me anyway showers first then we can maybe think about that so we need 21 shower heads in here if we were to i'll tell you what let's designate it as shower first designate it all a shower that then immediately gives us the highlighted stuff you got shower pillars here that will be um four eight right four eight sixteen there you go that's good and it's using this shower stuff that I really wanted to use I thought it would be interesting that's enough there yeah we haven't got any bathroom sinks I'm tempted to place a couple of sinks along the outside but that is technically a shower done there's our shower room drains will go all the way around each one of these because that'll look cool and I'll probably use the ceramic tiles but they use they are hideously expensive so we'll see about that and yeah that shower is even if I do say so myself very immodestly one of the best I've made happy with that so this will come along it'll need to obviously connect up all of these showers quite an easy task running them in like so and then just put a little T-piece in each one there we are so that's good problem we have is it's not hot water so where's the hot water going to come from well the hot water only goes a certain distance I can't remember what it is and I think it has changed over the years I'm going to go with 20 tiles but it could be 30 could be anything in between don't know so where could we place a water boiler if we need a water boiler well we could just place it outside here doesn't really seem fit because obviously this is all rusting and you wouldn't just place it outside to the elements it would just rust and fall away so I'm tempted to place a water boiler in like maybe around here so we'll have like from these buildings from this building and this building we also need one near the kitchen as well but I'll deal with that later actually it's going to be in there for the kitchen so we're fine so in these buildings here we'll have like a staff only area where it is just going to be you know a water boiler just pretty much like that like in a small room like that size something like that but we'll deal with the weather and temperature later on we're trying to get these basic grants done speaking of grants the long-term investment has 100 hours left and short-term 16 hours left so we need a holding cell kitchen canteen all of that sort of stuff so 28 grand enough to get probably this built although it's going to cost quite a bit of cash kitchen and canteen we should have enough so I need to work out the size of the kitchen don't I because this is going to be the kitchen there's no question about that or is there there is a question about that because it would be more efficient to have this as a kitchen because it's closer to the entrance and all the delivery stuff so if this was the kitchen for example I do that to have the double wall there there's no staff there uh, sorry there's gonna be no prisoners working inside this kitchen not gonna happen tentatively that cookers across there fridge freezers well fridges across there mm. two sinks crammed in in it it's a bit crammed in that, fit. that seems to fit and you can have more freezers there if you need to yeah that's the size that's what we're going with okay ball in there in there and because we've done it in one go it 
it's all classed as one building. Although it doesn't say that, but it should be. Walls and doors, doors, staff daughter there, large jail daughter there and there, and we'll crack on. 12 grand, still we're getting 280 per day anyway, because reasons uh <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> we just are we just are we'll just accept that that's the case that's fine in terms of deliveries obviously everything and i do mean everything is coming from this boat dock we haven't got a, a helicopter i don't plan on having a helicopter we don't have any ferries over to other islands again i don't plan necessarily on having that certainly not yet but do I want to build another boat dock that's specifically designed to bring in prisoners and amenities? So what I mean is, in terms of objects here and go right to the bottom, uh, actually we'll just search, boat dock, we could place one here, right, like that, and it means that we could bring in, we'll have a deliveries around here, bring in all of our prisoners in here, but have exports and garbage on this side, so they'll come this way, and all this will be staff only. It's a possibility, and probably an opportunity I'm going to take, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, normal speed. Let's go ahead. Don't know why normal speed, we don't need to have it at normal speed. Rusty wall will go across there, and across there, and there. This will also have somewhere haven't yet decided a little closed off section that'll still be part of the canteen but it will be set as like a toilet area just because they can fulfill some other needs while they're in the canteen this is obviously a bigger canteen than is very much necessary but i did point out at the start that that was going to be the case what i'll probably do is actually extend this open along there and this will be like the big toilet block type thing Anyway, that's now in. In the back here, we need to place a couple of things over to our walls and doors. Doors, a staff door will go there, followed by a jail door there, which we will lock open. At the back, this room will be a, a kitchen, like so. And all of the basics that are required, which in this particular case, what is required is one of everything, which is... I'll place that in there which is now in so that's legitimate this canteen we do need to make legitimate but quite frankly i'm going to place a table and a bench just for the grant that's all i'm doing this for just to get that grant done because obviously we are running a little bit low on cash but once that's done it means we have the kitchen the canteen and we just need two guards, two cooks, and a holding cell. There is 16 grand for the uh, long-term investment. No, short-term investment. We're going to go with inmate health and well-being, which requires a medical ward and a psychologist. Hang on, was it that? Oh, yeah, I had a psychiatrist, not a psychologist. So we'll hire a psychologist. And we need two doctors and a medical ward, which we'll build temporarily just for the purposes of that grant. But I think... We will... Oh, do we... No, we'll tell you what. We'll get the holding cell in first, which is going to go in here. So, <laughs> hang on. Can I have a holding cell in there? I don't think I can. Holding cell. Yes, I can. So, that's a holding cell. Trust me. And there you go. Technically, that's a holding cell. <laughs> it's not a good one. Oh, we also need a serving table in here as well. There we go. Like I say, I'm just doing this for the grant the grant money. We will be changing this. And one, two, one, two. And there's that grant done. That's a ten grand payment for the basic detention centre. We can then go for cell block A, which means next episode, cloning right across, another grant done, and we can continue to crack on. Sixty two thousand eight hundred and twenty five generic units of currency in the kitty and a lot of the basics not built but certainly planned off and we have the buildings for them to go in 
So I think we will leave it there for this episode. Next episode, we will crack on with the grand score for the long-term investment, which is just time. We will build a medical ward and maybe even put it in a permanent place. Shock horror, but we'll see about that. And raise our prisoner capacity to 15. So that's what we'll do. And you know what's really annoying me? That basically the electrical cable, all it needs to do is do that. Just to power all these up. Do they need to go that way? Probably just go to there. Just because I want this. I want this all powered up. Because then I actually will finally be able to see some light in here. Yeah, see how far that actually reaches. So, yeah, that's much better. Anyway, yes, we'll leave it there, as I said, and next episode we will crack on with <laughs> the fact that that says holding cell. Sorry, I'm getting totally distracted here, but the fact that that's saying holding cell is just <laughs> not good. Because <laughs> I know if I don't get rid of it now, I'll forget. Anyway, we are going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll continue to crack on and buy some more rusty metal plates for the walls because that's really secure. Either way, comments in the comments. Hope you have enjoyed the video and the series for what it is thus far. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.